Most cars have a coolant reservoir made of translucent plastic. This reservoir will be labeled with the words engine coolant only. It will also be marked to indicate the correct coolant level when the engine is cold. To check the coolant level, simply look at the reservoir when the engine is cold and see if the coolant level is at the cold mark. If it's low, remove the reservoir's cap and add a mixture of high quality permanent antifreeze and water. Distilled water is preferred. A mixture of one half antifreeze and one half water is usually correct, as it prevents the engine from freezing down to a temperature of 34 degrees below zero. Antifreeze also protects the cooling system from corrosion and helps to prevent overheating. Check your owner's manual for specific antifreeze recommendations. If the coolant reservoir is empty or very low, you may also have to add coolant to the radiator. Make sure the engine is cold. Firmly push down on the radiator cap while slowly rotating it counterclockwise to remove it. Add a mixture of antifreeze and water until the radiator is full. Replace the cap and fill the reservoir. You must never open a hot radiator because boiling coolant will spray out and cause severe burns. In addition to checking the engine coolant level, you should keep dirt and debris from accumulating on the front of the radiator. It's always a good practice to examine the radiator for any signs of leaks, cracks, cuts, and other types of deterioration. A greenish-yellow puddle under the car indicates a coolant leak. If it's clear water, it's probably just condensation from the air conditioner. Breakdowns often occur because of coolant leaks due to broken hoses. Check your car's hoses frequently. Look for dryness, cracking, deterioration, or loose clamps. If hoses are too hard, too dry, cracked, or spongy, have them replaced.